Hey guys, in this very cool video, I'm going to show you how I totally restyled my old Honda CR 125 from 1994. And I used 23 different techniques and methods to restyle it to make it look almost like a brand new modern CR 125. And I did it for, believe it or not, less than $150, like how I changed the look of the bike, okay? I also rebuilt the engine, uh, which of course was more expensive than that. The external restyling and all the parts and renovation methods I used for that was only $150. Before we get started, let's have a quick look at the bike. Okay, so as you can see here on the front, it has a modern front fender and uh, front number plate, which you can get for a surprisingly low price if you buy it the right place. And you can also like see some pretty cool styling I got on the front suspension. And we'll talk more about that later. You can also see it has a very special CNC clutch that we'll also talk about. And it has a new fresh chain kit on as well. And we're gonna talk a lot about how to make the number plates look like this for free, basically. And we're gonna talk about this rear fender and the muffler is also quite unique. Also how it's mounted. And looking at the engine here, you can also see it's renovated. And there's a couple of details we're gonna talk about during the video. And comment in the comment section if you have any innovation techniques that you think should be added to this video. Okay, so starting now, we're gonna go through the 23 techniques of how you renovate and restyle the bike. So number one is when you're disassembling the whole bike and cleaning parts, especially rusty parts, you can make them look almost like new by de-rusting and shaving off the rust with a wire brush tool like this. Also before painting some parts, that's a good idea. And on other parts, you can also use um, angle grinder with a sandpaper wheel. Okay, restyling method number two. And that is to cut the rear number plates, the side number plates with an angle grinder. So they are more aligned with the muffler, like this, you see? Because, you know, the original 94 model side number plates, they are like really long and they look really old. So instead, try to take a ruler, make a straight line here that, that's aligned with the muffler. And then you just take the angle grinder and cut it in a straight line like this. And then you just also cut the edges round, okay, on the corners there. And voila, then you have a modern style side number plate, which is also a bit lighter than the traditional ones. Another place you can use the technique is if these edges here, if they are looking old from the sun, if they're cracking a bit, you can cut off the cracked parts with the angle grinder so they look fresh and new, the edges. Okay, number three, restyling method, is to buy a easy pull CNC clutch. You can buy this for around $20 on AliExpress and it has three different settings for the pull like how heavy it is to pull. And I use the easy pull. It just needed to be adjusted a bit more often. You can see if you look underneath, I don't know if we can see that. It has three different settings here. And we are in the far inside setting, which is the easiest pull. And the, then it has two others, as you can see. Because on a 125cc bike, you're using the clutch quite often. And it's a one finger clutch as well, which is suitable for the modern riding technique. Okay, renovation tip number four is to use a steel ruler like this before you put on the stickers. If you have some scratched up plastics that are unsmooth, then you can use it like this across the plastic to scrape off the scratches or even it out. 
and scrape off the excess material so it gets a smooth surface so it'll look nice when you put on the new stickers. You could also use a box cutter knife, but this is a lot easier and faster to use and the result will usually get better than a box cutter because it usually just cuts uneven and is too sharp basically. Tip number five is to buy a sticker kit for the bike, which can be done for around $35. And then after you apply it, there's a bonus tip. And that is if you have some faded edges, uh, like right here, you can use a sponge and then spray red paint on the sponge and then you can just gently apply it on the faded plastic edges. I also did that um, over here. So it gets a fresh red color and the paint will, will get through the faded material and makes it look more fresh, okay? Renovation tip number six is to buy a new front fender and number plate. And you can do that for just around $20 as well on AliExpress, which is a really good investment, which gives the bike this modern look that we really like. Okay, tip number seven is to replace most of the visible nuts and bolts, such as the cylinder mounting nuts here because they're usually old and rusty and they're really hard to renovate. So just buy new ones really cheap or replace like the screws for something like this. And also like the cover mounting bolts here, also new and cheap to replace. And I also painted this cover by the way, as you can see. Also over here, and here we replaced the clutch cover bolts with Allen bolts, five millimeter, which looks really cool, I think. Okay, the next tip is to polish the clutch cover with a sandpaper disc for the angle grinder. You can also actually polish up the brake lever if you want. Okay, the next tip is a small one for only like $3 or something. You can replace the carburetor hoses and also the fuel hose here. So it's fresh material. Usually the old ones don't look too good. And the next tip is to buy these carbon wrapping stickers that you can buy for like just $3 or something also on eBay or AliExpress black cloth and black zip ties. It doesn't look too bad, but it will prevent dirt from getting into the seals and so they will start leaking again. It's like a, an extra dust seal, basically. Okay, the next tip is a really cool one, I think, and that is to paint your frame after you have disassembled it and cleaned it up really good. And then you don't even have to like disassemble the, like the full bike. You can leave the triple clamps on and stuff. You just have to tape, tape off the triple clamps with some paper. You can see there's like, here I had a little bit of tape or paper covering. It was white before, so I didn't get that little bit painted. Um, but the philosophy of this video is that you can do a nice quick renovation without doing everything like completely perfect. It will probably take five times longer to do it absolutely perfect. And then I spray painted it black and then with a clear glitter coat from a long distance afterwards to give it that two layer finish. I don't know if you can see it. And probably painting the bike only costs like $5 or something. It's extremely cheap. And again, you don't have to do it absolutely perfect. I also painted the engine cases uh, without the clutch cover. You can also see over here that the engine cases are painted. Okay, the next tip is if your mod flap here, if that's broken or you lost it or something, you don't have to actually buy a new one because you can just cut a piece of plastic out from one of your oil bottles, it'll fit on and do exactly the same job at an OEM. Okay, the next one is a product you can probably also buy for around $5. It's like a product uh, to spray the tires with foam and then it will basically renovate the surface so it gets like a um, shiny treatment. So if you look at this older tire here, then compared with this tire over here that got the treatment, it looks like brand new, right? This treatment can also be used for other plastic parts such as, as the side cover here, which I'm planning to do, or the air boot, so it will also look brand new if it looks a bit faded. Okay, the next renovation technique and method is to have a thread cutter, M6 thread. And with that, you can fix a lot of broken threads on the bike, such as the threading for the exhaust mount here was broken. So you just drill it out with a drill that's included only cost around $10 this set. And then you install a new thread after cutting with the cutter tool here. 
and also did it in here with the um, gas tank mounting bolts on both sides. They were also destroyed, the threads, and now they're good as new. Okay, the next tip is to sharpen your foot pegs or even replace them. If you have a set of foot pegs from um, another bike, like a more modern bike, which I had, so these foot pegs are actually from my Yamaha YZ from 2017, and then sharpen them. Or even if you just have the original ones, you can still make them a lot better by just sharpening the teeth on them. Because the foot peg connection is the most important connection on the bike. You should ride the bike through the foot pegs. Okay, the next tip is to paint the spring of the shock. Especially, I like it in red color. And that's a quick way you can do it when you have the bike disassembled and the shock out. You don't have to take out the spring or unmount the spring. You can just slide a piece of paper underneath and wrap around uh, the shock up here and, and the shaft, of course. And that way you can actually spray paint it without spraying accidentally on the shock shaft and um, main suspension uh, area in here. Okay, next tip is to buy a cheap muffler. If you have a messed up muffler, which is pretty normal to have, you can buy a very light and cheap one on AliExpress for only $20, like this. And it looks pretty good. And then you can dismount it with a belt drive. You can get like a belt drive from a mechanic for free, probably. This is from a car engine. And then just drill a hole in that and then bolt it on up there with a washer. And then you just weld it on here to the to the old pipe, okay? Okay, the next technique is if you have a plastic cover like this that has a lot of small scratches, you can actually make a lot of these scratches disappear by burning it with a gas burner, butane burner. Just like this, you just have to keep moving the flame around. Don't keep it in one place and don't do it for too long. Yeah, so that was my top tips and techniques and methods on how you can restyle and modify and renovate your motocross bike for as little money as possible with the best result as possible. And if you wonder how I became so creative with these techniques, I live on a tropical island where we cannot always have parts shipped in. It takes about three to five weeks to get parts shipped in. So in many cases, I just simply have to come up with a solution uh, without getting the new parts. So that's where a lot of these techniques and methods come from. So if you like the video and want to see more fun stuff like this, remember to subscribe and share the video with a friend and click like. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. If you want to learn more tools and techniques and habits that can improve your life quality and performance and well-being overall, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like tropical island holidays, visit fitcamp5.com for my two-time TripAdvisor award-winning training camp where we train fitness and action sports together while learning to live a healthy lifestyle and maybe most importantly, have fun at the same time. And if you're really serious about improving yourself, you should definitely check out my full online courses where I share step-by-step -step programs on how I developed my own routines over the last 12 years as a CEO working in four different countries while being a successful competitive athlete with more than 20 years of experience in fitness and nutrition. Check the link in the description for that. And in any case, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, be awesome, believe in yourself and see you on the next one.